The cost of living is a growing problem in the UK. It's the amount of money needed to cover basic expenses such as housing, food, taxes and healthcare. It is often used to compare how expensive it is to live in one place versus another. Around 87% of adults in the United Kingdom have reported to have been affected by this cost of living crisis currently occurring in our country. Around 2,000 small businesses have been run to the ground and went bust just in August 2022 alone. Small businesses need to keep up with the work and keep up with the cost of living. Many may find this extremely difficult. Around 35% of businesses had to downsize and reduce staff because they literally cannot pay them any more due to the raising prices. We wanted to get some first person insight about how the cost of living has affected small businesses in our local area. For this, we decided to work with the Geeky Gamer located in Street and tried to get some insight on how the cost of living has affected this business. Oh, it's been very good, thank you. Yeah. Um, it's definitely affected the business. It affects it in um, a couple of ways. The first way it affects it is, um, obviously for myself personally, bills, uh, electricity, gas, water, etc. have gone up, not just here in the shop, but also in my home. The uh, cost of things have gone up um, for me to buy, to, to sell in the shop, which means that that also has had to be passed on to customers because, you know, I have higher bills to pay, you know, more food uh, bills to pay, so prices need to go up as well. Um, I think my main worries for the Geeky Gamer is that if the country does go into a recession, um, then that means that um, people obviously have a lot less money to spend and therefore you know it's just harder for me to to keep the shop open but I think with what I've built here anyway um, we should be able to survive you know for the next few years even if there is a recession yeah yeah um, exactly as I said because it's a it's a double-edged sword for me not only do I have the bills here that are going up in price um, I also have uh, the bills at home um, you know my bills at home have gone up by about 40% uh, the only way that I can help myself to cover those uh, increasing costs at home is by increasing the, the cost of you know teas and coffees and um, the cost of tables and and products and things here. Um, you know, the, uh, uh, something else I've noticed is that actually um, a lot of service providers to me have also put up their bills. So things like internet has gone up, Visa card, debit card charges have gone up, and that is basically reducing how much money I make each month. So if I don't increase my own costs of things, then I can't cover those costs and I'm therefore sort of losing money, which is a big risk. The Geeky Gamer is like many other small businesses. It has to face the struggle of the cost of living and has to live through the effects and problems it can cause. One in ten small business owners do not expect to be in business by next year. The fear workers have to live through because of the thought of being unemployed can affect their mental health and affect the productivity of their work. The government are trying to combat this by raising employment allowance from £4,000 to £5,000. Chancellor Rishi Sunak said the change would benefit 50,000 small businesses. Ways to reduce the effect of this crisis is to communicate with other small businesses around you and work together and make the best of a bad situation. Another way could be to contact your local MP for advice or personal help. We hope this short documentary helped you grasp further information on the cost of living crisis and how it affects you and the people and businesses around you. Thank you for watching.